arbitration is by and far the foremost and prominent dispute resolution uh, mechanism for international disputes, especially in cross-border transactions and dealings. And I think it has now been settled that arbitration is uh, really the number one option for uh, uh, parties to go to whenever disputes arise in relation to cross-border disputes. I think the first thing is education and training. Uh, banking sectors, people working in banking uh, sector need to be aware of the nature of the transactions and disputes that arise and how arbitration works to ensure that they are capable and best suited to choose the arbitration clauses that are best suited for their contracts. So education, awareness, training are the hallmarks of properly integrating arbitration clauses in their agreements and choosing the most appropriate arbitration uh, uh, process for their disputes. In terms of dispute resolution, um, well, one thing that we've seen from the discussions today is uh, developing and working in international template, templates, uh, developing best practices, uh, considering institutional arbitration. Uh, for banking and finance, I see that institutional arbitration is really the only option. And there are many world-class institutions that exist, um, ICC, CIA and, and, and others, including uh, the Cairo Region Center, of course, which is a, a very prominent center in Egypt and regionally. So I think they need to choose their uh, center wisely, the applicable law and rules, uh, the seat of arbitration. And if they get these things right, I think they will have a proper arbitration uh, process. Knowledge of the process is the most important challenge. People are not yet fully aware of how the process works. And secondly, uh, the careful choice of the institution and institution rules and selection of arbitrators. These are the prominent challenges that I see facing the banking sector. And if they uh, manage to get the know-how and the awareness of how to get these three issues right, they will again ensure that their arbitration process will work. Uh, today, my view was, I mean, the whole idea of this conference, which was a concept I had in mind, is to educate uh, the sector and bring to the people the knowledge that arbitration uh, exists and will continue to exist and is suited for banking and finance disputes alongside courts. So you have a, a multi-door options or a multitude of options, litigation, but also arbitration works. So uh, uh, the first message is that the misconception that arbitration is not suited for the banking and finance sector needs to be corrected, hence the whole idea of, a conf of the conference. Uh, secondly, to uh, uh, bring a blend of expertise to the market and the people through this conference by bringing uh, bankers, uh, financiers with arbitration or dispute resolution practitioners to discuss the hot topics in the banking and finance sectors and how arbitration can help resolve disputes in case the dispute cannot be avoided. These events are very important events. Uh, it's if you know that worldwide there is something called continuing legal education and in our field it is very important that we bring um, colleagues in the legal profession um, up to speed with recent developments in each and every sector and this conference which marks or crowns the 20 years of the uh, Egypt branch of the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators is a sector specific event targeting banking and finance and the resolution of disputes arriving thereunder and I, I'm sure that it will uh, truly benefit the legal community both in terms of content and in terms of exposure and networking. Thank you so much. Thank you.